Good morning, YouTube. So with today's video, let's talk about Versace. Versace put it on. Now, this is kind of like a re-review of a video that I did so many years ago. I think it was like 2014. It was more of a spoof of my makers, Dan. So if you're not familiar with Dan's channel, I'll link that down below. Dan, he was a pioneer. Unfortunately, he passed away almost three years ago and heavily missed. He was a massive staple. He was like a maverick at what he did. It was just phenomenal. So out of, like, I've met so many people in this community in person that I, I really wish that I was able to meet him. All right, so let's just get into this. Versace Purim was actually launched in 2008 and it's classed as an aromatic fougette. The note breakdown for this one here, I'm just gonna read it off because there's a lot of notes. Now the top notes for this one here are gonna be lemon, bergamot, neroli, and rose de may with the mead being high inside cedar, clary sage, and geranium, and the base is gonna be tonka bean, musk, and amber. So what do I get from this one here? Now this opens up with loads of citrus. Loads of citrus and a slight floral touch. Not a whole lot, but it's there. But I also get the tonka bean as well in the in the air. Now the citruses and the tonka bean are definitely there even on your skin. But you are gonna get like a lavender type of feel. So it's more than likely the hindsight, but it's a clean, fresh, aromatic scent. And then towards the base, you're gonna get that tonka bean still, but you're gonna get a little bit of woods and some musk. This gets comparisons to Chanel Allure Homme Sport, which it does. This is just not nearly as expensive. Is it 100% close to smelling like it? No, I would say maybe 80, 75 to 80%. But it's a good fragrance if you're looking to save money because this is definitely a fraction of the price tag. I love Chanel Allure Homme Sport, I have it, but you're paying for not only the quality, but the name itself. Versace is a luxury brand, but their fragrances are very economical. The prices, they do range, but the sizes as well, as it comes in a 30, which is this, a 50, a 100, and a whopping 200 ml. Now this is gonna range you about $35. The 50 is gonna be about 45, the 100 is gonna be about 65, and the whopping 200 is gonna be about $90. That's all Canadian price tag. So it's great bang for your buck. This leans more on the summer end, right? So spring and summertime, it's pretty versatile fragrance. It is a little bit more casual, but I do think that you can wear this with a suit and tie to like a daytime semi-formal event or just work. This will go very well with a suit and tie, but also like this, maybe a little bit more casual as well. Performance, it's not like Chanel Allurum Sport, so, but you know, like you are paying for what you get, but you're not really all that disappointed as this ranges anywhere from five to seven hours. Generally, it's five to six, but on a few occasions, I got seven, and I believe like a long time ago, I, I, I think I stated I may have gotten eight. I, I'm not sure, but decent performance, especially for the price tag. My wife thought, my wife thought it was fresh, clean, inoffensive, and kind of like other fragrances out there that she smelled. My wife, in all fairness, has smelled a lot of fragrances from my collection over the years. In the end, is this a fragrance that I personally would recommend? Absolutely, especially if you're an everyday kind of guy. I would recommend this to someone who's looking to save money, but doesn't want to spend that Chanel price tag. I have it, I love it, it's the only bottle in my entire life that I've ever finished. I love that one more than this one. But as an everyday man, I'm trying to like put myself down as, I'm trying to put myself as the everyday kind of guy, because I, I got some bougie tastes. Creed, and Aqua de Parma, bond number nine, I'm not gonna lie. But this is a great fragrance for that guy out there who just doesn't want to spend a lot of money. This will cost you more itself if you buy it retail, so buy online. All right, 30, 50, a 100, and a 200 ml ranges anywhere from 35 to $95 Canadian. You convert that, $30 to $85 USD. For the 200 ml, $85 USD, that's a no brainer in my opinion. So it's a signature scent, pretty versatile, great smelling, easy to wear, and if you have a partner, so if you're married, or got a girlfriend, whatever, your partner is gonna like this on you. Plain and simple. All right, guys, so that is my review of Versace Purim. If you wanna see the original video that I did so many years ago, trust me, it is cringe. 
That will be down in the description box below along with Dan's channel. Guys, I encourage you to check out Dan's channel. That's an archive. What His channel is just one giant archive and it's a library. He started in like 2010, it went up all the way to 2019. You can see the evolution. My evolution, probably not so much, but Dan, I miss that guy so much. His laugh was infectious. High pitch, I'm not gonna try and do it. I did it in the other video and I heard my voice. So guys, I thank you for your time, take care, and I will see you later. Thanks for watching everybody.